Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to do a curried sweet potato soup. Haven't actually done this recipe before, but the weather has changed from two days of salad days to um, high wind. Uh, we need hot soup days. I'm going to mix it up a bit as I normally do, um, only in that I think that it's because it's sweet potato, even though it's got a bit of curry in it, um, I thought I'd add a chilli um, to it because I think it will give it a needed bit of punch. Anyway, if it's uneatable because I've added chilli, well, there you go. That's my mistake. You can stick exactly to the recipe or not. This is why I love cookie dough. I love cookie dough because I didn't really know what soup to make. And I was looking in the fridge and I had a packet of um, a pack of sweet potato that was needing to be eaten so basically search for that and um, this soup I think should turn out to be great it's a it's a smooth soup but obviously if you've used your thermomix for a, a little while you'll know you can have a perfectly smooth soup or you can have a chunky soup it just depends on how you cook it and at what speed you use the blades um, these, I've got a soup collection here, um, which has got, oh my goodness, I think it's probably got about 60 soups on it. Um, and handily, of course, when you create your collections, you can search for them on your iPad, or of course you can search for them, um, in, on the screen and the TM6 screen being bigger, um, does that. Because it's Bluetooth, as soon as you found it on the iPad, which I did a few minutes ago, um, and add it to my collection via the Bluetooth, it will come in here in um, alphabetical order. And uh, there it should be under curry. Curry, um, no, it's not there. Curry sweet potato soup. There it is. Um, and all I have to do, obviously, is start cooking. I've got, um, do you know about coriander? The coriander stalks are the really punchy bit. So most recipes will say just use the leaves. If you want to give it an extra bit of punch, of course, what the Thermomix will do, it will grind those stalks down in a way that you simply couldn't do with a knife. So um, let's see, there we are, seven of leaves only. I've got the stalks there. Um, and then next, and of course, um, what we're going to do is basically take these leaves down in a very simple way, which we're probably then going to bring out the bowl at speed eight. Anything over speed four is going to be very efficient at chopping. So there we are. You don't have to be too precious about whether you get every single bit out or not. It's um, I'm not going to be that important really because all the flavour and the tastiness is all going to be mixed back into the soup eventually. 200 of red onions. I love red onions, don't you? They're just so um, sweet. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do, because I'm adding a, a chilli, is I'm just going to throw that. Now you can see I haven't done this one before. I'm just going to I'm just going to throw this in. Remember, you want to come in and out the recipe. You want to do something that's not in the recipe. The recipe will be saved by the green marker, by the green bookmark, and you can just carry on as you like. I want to put this um, chili in. And then effectively now, all I need to do is just go back, press the bookmark, and then I'm back to the recipe. So I've now got a chilli in there and a garlic clove, um, and then I can just carry on with my recipe. 
And of course, I'm now at the sweet potato stage. So 6.20 sweet potato. Yum, yum. That's, that was nearly a whole pack, actually, once the peeling had been taken off. Um, and 20 of olive oil. And then we'll be... Now, it says... Um, I usually have my own homemade Thermomix curry paste. I didn't have any. But I've actually got this jar, which probably needs to be used pretty soon. And it's a tamarind, um, which is a Thai thing. So what I'm going to do is, because I've got a chilli in there, I'm only going to use a couple rather than five teaspoonfuls um, of curry paste. If you don't want to use that, it, you know, it's your recipe, it's your soup. So um, there you go. Speed four. Mixing that up. And of course, how else could you do that in five seconds? It's amazing. Um, we've got that kind of. Okay, my my um. Obviously, my sweet potato wasn't cut evenly, so this is not even, it's not going to be a problem. It's going to end up a sweet, um, a smooth soup at the end. Um, so that isn't going to be a problem. And all it's going to do now for five minutes is um, cook it at 100 degrees. So we'll be back with you in a minute. You'll notice that there's always an eight second countdown. It's a safety thing. And um, when, when there's a hot, something hot in the bowl, um, then the arms open. And then of course we can go on to the next stage. So I've got um, chicken stock from um, the other day when I, um, when I did a chicken. Um, and so I'm just going to add that. And that should make it super tasty. And in fact, if you're a bit over 500, so what? Um, so in fact, that's what I'm going to do because I'm not going to use the bottom bit there. The, um, yeah, just the stock, just the nice stock. Okay. Um, and then next, And then that will then be 12 minutes. So after that, basically, the soup's done. What could be easier? Okay, so all done. And of course, in that time that you have is designated, you can be off doing something else. Um, after that now, let's, um, let's just add the lime juice. If you've got a fresh lime, obviously use that. Or if you've frozen it um, in cubes, um, obviously use that. Or if you don't want it at all, don't bother. Um, and now, of course, we've got the lovely um, TM6 um, version. Now we're going to blend. In fact, it's not using the blend function, so up to 9.5. Be very careful if you've got hot liquid and you're blending it fast, that it's stable. Okay, so we should have delightfully smooth soup. And I have no doubt that we do. Beautiful curried soup with minimum effort it smells delicious so put some in there for you well try and not make it messy and a little bit of the reserved coriander 
And what better to serve it up with than some homemade Thermomix sourdough. Thank you for watching. And obviously, and ask me any queries you have. I'm here to help. Bye-bye for now.